how do we think about or construct uh, the, the, the characters around us, the public figures, um, be they political figures or athletes or you know, stars of one sort or another, how have, how have we defined them? How are we using that image that we've created and why? Schubert Theater uh, started back in Schubert's time, actually, and it was sort of a gathering of friends and fans to hear Schubert's music, either chamber music, but mostly it was piano. Um, so Schubert at the piano, the, the famous painting by Klimt with Schubert sitting at the piano, that, that sort of, that's sort of the, the idea. The upcoming Schubert Theater. May 1st will be a mix of live performance, uh, a provocative lecture, I think before the concert, um, a variety of music making, not just solo piano, but chamber music, uh, perhaps music for string quartet as well. And it will include a brief narration by myself before each performance that is made. Now, I knew of Heidi because several of my own music students had taken her classes. So I thought this was a wonderful reach out for someone who is really steeped in this moment of history. Uh, to add a dimension that I, as a performer, uh, can't supply. I'm not a musicologist or a composer or a performer, alas. I am a literary scholar and a historian. So I'm going to be taking those two points of view. He's a very enigmatic character. We don't actually know all that much about him. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at the Schuberts. We have, we as a society and culture have created, you know, his friends in their memoirs created Schubert, this character Schubert. Later on, there was a musical that created another Schubert, sort of the romantic idol Schubert. Later on, Schubert became actually um, a nationalistic figure. He was used by Austrian nationalists. Today, we've sort of made him into a pop icon. How have we done that? How, have, how are we using and, if you will, abusing Schubert through the ages? You can listen to the music and enjoy the music and love the music and not know much about the context. But I think if you have more of the context, you have more lenses through which to listen to the music, you have more windows in, into what's going on on stage, I think that makes a richer experience. Music particularly has all these bedfellows, poetry, fiction, literature, um, history. Uh, it's a natural for us to reach out since so much of that inspired creativity in, in music. Musical knowledge informs the actual playing of the piece because you have that context. What surrounds, what surrounds this? Um, the name of something is not interesting, but what surrounds that name and what infers why that name is there, that's interesting. I don't think there's such a thing as just you know, hopscotching back to 1800 and learning about Schubert and keeping it there. Everything that you hear, and you listen to, and you think about is in some way applicable to your own life experience.